Hey guys, and welcome back to Planet Origami. So for today, we're going to be making this transforming ninja star. It looks like this at first, and then if you pull on the edges, you can transform it into a frisbee. So for this video, you're going to need eight pieces. So each color like this, you can have alternating colors or just one plain color. And um, also pretty soon, I'm going to be making a super transforming ninja star. It's just like this, except, sorry, let me grab this. It's a lot better. It looks a lot cooler too, and it still transforms. I might make it for the second video of this week. So if you really want me to make this, then please tell me in the comments below if I should make it for this week or save it for another time. And also here's just a reminder, I'm going to be making the Super Ninja Star soon, but only if I get the 100 views. And if you've seen on the 3D Origami Star, then I've already, I have already have about 50 views on that video. So if I get up to 100 on that one, then I will make that video, definitely make it. So let's get started with today's video. first step what you're going to do is you're going to make that diagonal crease just like that and you probably already have that one if you were making um, a square from just a sheet of paper and you're going to do the same thing folding from this point to that point make another diagonal fold and make sure to crease them nice and sharp Okay, then we're going to fold this in half from here to here. This is very, very easy and short. And all you need to do is make eight of these and you can make them very quick. So then you're going to get this corner and you're going to fold it in the middle and use this line as a guideline. Just like that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, from here to here. And then you're going to fold the whole thing in half, using this line that we made. Okay, then you, as you can see this line that we have on both sides, what we're going to try and do is squash this down. So you're going to push down on this fold and you're going to reverse fold this. So that's going to be a, turning into a valley fold. Right now it's a mountain fold. So you're going to push it down and flatten it just like that. So then again, you're going to push it down and flatten it. Okay, and already you have one connector piece done. So I'm going to grab the other pieces right here. Here's all eight. So we're going to need another white piece for this next step. So what you're going to try and do is you need to get the fold, the little flaps right here. And you want to make sure that you get the other one 
that does not have the flaps on this side, this part right here, and you want to make sure this part is folding down so it looks kind of like an airplane at the top right here. You're going to get it and place it inside just like that. And then you're going to close it down and using these excess spots, you're going to fold it down. And you don't want to fold it down as hard and as you can. You want to make sure to leave a little bit of space so that it could slide around. So just like that, it slides around very easily. So continuing with that, you're, we're going to go all the way around the entire thing. And when you're going to put one in, you want to make sure that you get it right in there. You don't want to accidentally put it inside one of these flaps or else it won't slide. So then hold that down, fold these in. And with the final product, if you see that it it's not sliding around, all you have to do is just move it back and forth and back and forth and fix the folds a little bit for these little flaps and just kind of fix it all around until it works. We're already halfway done. We just need four more. Okay, so for this last one, it might be a little bit tricky. All you have to do is make sure to get this tip and put it inside just like that. And make sure it stays there too. Okay, so you're going to put this fold in just like you normally do, but at the same time, you're going to get this white flap and you're going to put it inside the green flaps just like this and you push it in and then all you need to do is do two more of these and you need to make sure that you do not fold over the white line you want to make sure that you, when you fold these down they stay on their own side people have made that mistake so many times and did not work out for them If your flaps are also starting to like fall out and it's getting you really mad and confused, you might need to push these down a little bit farther or you need to make the creases a little bit tighter. So these ones are the very last ones and you want to make sure that they stay on their own side. And there you go, you already made a ninja star. In about seven minutes, we've just made an origami transforming ninja star. So you can see that mine isn't really going that well either, but sliding it around a lot more and doing it a lot more often will make it so that it slides out a lot easier. And already one flap came out but that means I just need to push it in and crease it tighter. Okay. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and um, tell me in the description below if you have created this already and if you use this video to make it. Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching this video. So, 
what I figured out is that I forgot to put in the video is how to slide it around. So all you have to do is push on both sides and then you rotate it. You push and you rotate it again. Push and then for the last one, push it again. And then all you have to do is just do the same thing and pull them all out. Just like that. So, in the description below, please tell me if this was hard for you to make so that I can make the Super Ninja Star, which might be a little bit harder, a lot easier for you to make. And also, please tell me in the description below what you would like to see me do next. I like to have that for every single video so that I know what I should be making. And if you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button to get a notification when I make my next video.